A senior citizen receives her first dose of AstraZeneca coronavirus disease, COVID-19, vaccine, at a covered court in Manila, Philippines, March 29, 2021. Reuters slash Lisa Marie David, sponsored articles and independent vaccine tracker provided data that showed the full picture of how the Philippines fares in vaccination in Southeast Asia. The national government had been releasing infographics on social media since last March where they supposedly showed the country ranks high among its neighbors in the region. However, in a tweet on April 28, the Twitter page called Philippines Vaccine Tracker shared a graph that showed the Philippines actually has a poor vaccine rollout based on the population sizes of each country, citing data from UR World and Data. Toto Bank Pangat Loang PLEP Nas Sapinaka Marining Navakuna Hansa ASEAN? So total number of doses administered, U, Pio Kung Pidbabasi and Nadi Nang percentage in Populusian, Teo A third from the last Sa ASEAN, the tweet read. Toto Bank Pangat Loang PLEP Nas Sapinaka Marining Navakuna Hansa ASEAN? So total number of doses administered, U, Pio Kung Pidbabasi and Nadi Nang percentage in Populusian, Teo A third from the last ASEAN more stats at https colon slash slash t dot co slash u poofy. Pick dot twitter dot com slash abzi jimlin, Philippines vaccine tracker, at herd immunite if April 28, 2021 inches the graph, the Philippines ranked third from the last in the list of sea countries that have administered their vaccines per 100 people. This is closely followed by Brunei and then Vietnam. The rest of the rankings are Singapore Cambodia Indonesia Malaysia Laos Myanmar Thailand in a separate tweet, the online tracker also noted that Brunei and Vietnam have the lowest number of infections in the region. Tan Dong Din Nha Bong Ang Brunei at Vietnam Ang Pinakaya Lisa Vaccine Rollout Sa ASEAN, Sila Din Nam On Ang May Pinakama Babong Bai Lang Ang COVID-19 Cases, read the tweet. In an earlier tweet, the tracker stated that citing the low vaccination rate, the estimated herd immunity in the country is December 2029, which is 8.6 years from now. One st dose colon 1.40% fully vaccinated colon 0.21% est. Herd immunity date. Deck 2029, 8.6 years from now, Philippines vaccine tracker, at herd immunity of April 27, 2021. The ASEAN Post similarly posted the same data from our world in data. The COVID-19 vaccination race in ASEAN is heating up and is currently dominated by Singapore with a total of 37.84 doses administered for 100 people. Visit https colon slash slash t dot co slash o 2 a e p rose to stay abreast of COVID-19 developments in the region. Hashtag thesine post hashtag ASEAN hashtag pray for ASEAN pick dot twitter dot com slash spoofuk, the ASEAN post, at thesine post April 28th. 2021 herd immunity happens when a large part of the population of an area is inoculated and protected from a particular disease. The World Health Organization and other health organizations stated that to achieve herd immunity is the goal to stop the spread of the highly contagious COVID-19, thus ending the pandemic. Since early this April, the Department of Health and the Presidential Communications Operations Office had only been presenting partial data to the public in their claims that the Philippines ranked third among its neighbors in terms of the number of doses administered. Read, Philippines vaccination ranks third in Southeast Asia? PICU shows partial data in the data released by the, the Philippine News Agency on April 22. The country ranked fourth with 1,612,420 doses administered. In both data presented, the government did not include the country's population in their computation. Directive from PQ Such updates on global data stemmed from a memo directing the PQ to show that the Philippines is doing better than other countries. Virginia Arcia Agte, PQ News and Information Bureau, confirmed this to reporters after a screenshot of a memo bearing the agency's name circulated online on Wednesday. All government media platforms are hereby directed to carry regular updates about the world data on COVID-19, specifically to convey to the public that the Philippines is faring better than many other countries addressing the pandemic, part of the memo read. Following the criticisms, Agte defended the agency, saying that there is nothing wrong with amplifying facts. 
well aware of these roles, especially with the COVID-19 situation, the President has given the instruction in order to provide adequate information and convey working policies, particularly those that aim to address the effects of the pandemic in the country. There is nothing wrong with this, nor is it a lie, it is simply amplifying facts, she was quoted as saying. Interaxian at block test, why?